for the convention of Sahitya Academy, the Vice President welcomed the award winner with uh, garland or bouquet and President Sahitya Academy will present the cash award of <coughs> cash award of uh, 50,000 rupees and also the plaque. The award in Assam is goes to Abhijit Pora. I request you. Abhijit Bora, an Assami short story writer, was born on 17 July 1994 in Golaghat, Assam. He holds a master's degree in Assamese language and is pursuing his PhD in Assamese literature. He knows Hindi and English besides Assamese. Currently, he is, the working, uh, he is working in the Department of Publication at Cotton University, Guwahati. His first short story was published in an Assamese monthly, Sat Sori, in 2016. He has a collection of short stories to his credit titled Devka Kobai J. He received Munin Barkotoki Literary Award in 2020. Devka Kobai J, a collection of masterfully crafted stories, reflects the various folk elements of the contemporary Assamese society. The dominant theme of this book is the expectations, speculations, aspirations, along with socio-economic depression prevailing in Assamese society. It also deals with the exploitations based by the people of Assam in current times. The stories are remarkable for the narrative technique, which is well formed, developed and spontaneous. As such, Sahit Academy is happy to confer its Yo Proskar in Assamese on Abhijit Pura for its collection of short stories Devuka Kobai J. Award in Bengali goes to Gorok Chakravarti. Gaurav Chakravarti, a Bengali poet, was born on 4th April 1986 in Rishra, West Bengal. He holds a bachelor's degree in computer applications and knows English besides Bengali. He began writing during 2010 and has seven poetry collections to his credit and is the recipient of two prestigious awards, Ekaler Kobi Kanta Proskar and Ethos Literary Award. Sriman Sonnet is a collection of 56 beautifully written sonnets. This book celebrates the old form of poetry in which the human heart speaks elegantly about love and passion. These regular and irregular sonnets reverberate between melancholy and mirth and takes the reader beyond morbi morbidity and happiness and offers a refreshing reading experience. As such, Sahitya Academy is happy to confer its Upraskar in Bengali on Gaurav Chakravarti for his poetry collection Sriman Sonnet. Award in Bodo goes to Gautam Daimari. Gautam Daimari, a Bodo poet, was born on 5th May 1993 in Rangapara district of Assam. 
He holds a master's degree in Bodo literature and knows Hindi and English besides Bodo. Currently, he is working as assistant professor in the department of Bodo, Rangia College. Began writing during 2009 and Juwa Gona Sa is his debut collection of poems. Juwa Gona Sa is a collection of 70 beautifully written poems and these, few, these poems have touched upon several social issues of the contemporary Bodo society and the poet, poet has masterfully showcased a super blend of his thoughts, feelings and imagination. The language is simple and lucid and the use of metaphors and symbolic style enriches the poet's work. The poet has expressed newer thoughts with genuine sensitivity and has successfully maintained a fine balance between imagination and reality. As a Sahitya Academy is happy to confer its Upraskar in Bodo on Gautam Daimari for his poetry collection Juva Gona Saha. डोगरी में पुरस्कृत अरुण अक्षदेव डोगरी कवि अरुण अक्षदेव का जन्म 10 जनवरी उन्नीस को पंतल हीरा नगर जम्मू और कश्मीर में हुआ आपको डोगरी के अलावा पंजाबी अंग्रेजी तथा हिंदी भाषाओं का भी ज्ञान है संप्रति आप भारत सरकार के रक्षा बल डिफेंस फोर्स में कार्यरत है फंग होंसले आपकी प्रथम कविता संग्रह है फंग होंसले अरुण अक्ष देव कृत विषय और शैली से समृद्ध डोगरी कविता संग्रह है कवि अपनी गहरी सामाजिक चिंता और संवेदनशीलता के साथ सामाजिक बुराइयों पर प्रहर करता है ये कविता एक कवि की मूल भाषा तथा जन्मभूमि के प्रति उनके गहन प्रेम को प्रकट करती है तथा पूर्णता मौलिक है साहित्य अकाडमी अरुण देव को डोगरी कविता संग्रह फंग हौसले दे के लिए यो पुरस्कार प्रदान करते हुए प्रसन्नता का अनुभव कर रही है Award in English goes to Megha Majumdar. She, uh, uh, her father will, uh, father Sri Partha Majumdar will receive on her behalf. Megha Majumdar, an English fiction writer, born on 4th August 1987 in Kolkata. She has a master's degree from John Hopkins University, Maryland, USA. She began writing from an early age and a burning is her debut work. Currently, she is working as an editor-in-chief of an established online magazine, Catapult. A burning has been translated into 11 languages. She has been nominated for several prestigious awards. It is an electrifying and brilliant novel about three characters who find their lives entangled in catastrophe. The novel illuminates the aspirations, agony and quiet dignity of its unforgettable cast of the characters. The riveting, well-structured narrative retains its electric impact till the end. The language of the novel is masterful and imagination through which the writer views the story seems never to exhaust. As such, Sahitya Academy is happy to confer its Upraskar in English on Megha Majumdar for her novel, A Burning. It is going to be received by her father, Sri Partha Majumdar. <laughs> Award in Gujarati goes to Drashti Soni. Welcome. 
Rashti Soni, a Gujarati fiction writer, poet and translator, was born on 23rd July 2000 in Ahmedabad, Gujarat. She has a bachelor's degree in physiotherapy and knows Hindi and English besides Gujarati. She is currently working as physiotherapist in Ahmedabad. She began writing poems at an early age and A Manasa Manas is her debut novel. Her poems are published in several Gujarati literary magazines and she has also translated poetry and short stories from Gujarati into Hindi and English and vice versa. A Manas is a masterfully crafted fictional work where the author attempts to discuss the complex issues of human existence and human relationship in a bold and sincere narrative. It is based on the experiences of the LGBTQ community. It dramatizes their struggle to be accepted by their families and the larger community and to be treated as ordinary human beings. The writer has dealt with quite an unconventional theme with a highly sensitive and matured worldview. As such, Sahitya Academy is happy to confer its Yo Praskar in Gujarati on Drashti Soni for her work of fiction, A Manasa. Thank you. Hindi me Puraskut Himanshu Bajpai. हिमांशु बाजपेई हिंदी कथाकार है आपका जन्म 2 जुलाई 1987 को लखनऊ उत्तर प्रदेश में हुआ आपने मास कम्युनिकेशन में पीएचडी की उपाधि प्राप्त की आपको हिंदी के अलावा अंग्रेजी भाषा का भी ज्ञान है किस्सा किस्सा लखनऊ लखनऊ के आवामी किस्से आपका पहला और एकमात्र कहानी संग्रह है आप निपुण दस्तान गोई कलाकार है किस्सा किस्सा लखनऊ लखनऊ के आवामी किस्से हिमांशु बाजपेई कृत हिंदी कहानी संग्रह है जो लखनऊ के साधारण लोगों के जीवन के ईद गिर्द घूमता है सभी किस्से लखनऊ शहर और उसकी अनूठी संस्कृति का ज्वलंत और सुंदर चित्र प्रस्तुत करते हैं इस कृति की कहानियां कथन पद्धति के पद, कथन पद्धति की मौखिक परंपरा के साथ अपना एक दृढ़ संबंध स्थापित करती है तथा पाठकों के मन को मंत्रमुग्ध करती है साहित्य अकाडमी हिमांशु वाजपेयी को हिंदी कहानी संग्रह किस्सा किस्सा लखनऊ लखनऊ के आवामी किस्से के लिए यो पुरस्कार प्रदान करते हुए प्रसन्नता का अनुभव कर रही है Award in Canada goes to H. Lakshmi Narayan Swami. H. Lakshmi Narayan Swami, a poet, fiction writer, and critic, was born on 29 December 1997 in Bengaluru, Karnataka. He holds PhD in Canada. He began writing since his childhood and has five poetry collections and seven publications of critical writings to his credit. He is the recipient of Arulu Sahitya Award, Kannada Sahitya Parishad, Government of Karnataka uh, Award and Young Writers Award, Kannada Sahitya Parishad Award, Government of Karnataka and Nadaprabhu Kempegoda Award, Government of Karnataka, etc. Togala Chilad Karna is an epic poem written with genuinely new interpretation of Karna of the Mahabharata. His Karna is the hero of the Mahabharata who rescues Draupadi when Dushasana humiliates her in the royal court. The lucid, powerful and moving language makes it interesting and worth reading. As such, Sahit Academy is happy to confer its Upraskar in Kannada on Lakshmi Narayan Swami for his epic poetry Togala Chilad Karna.
अवार्ड इन काश्मीरी गोस टू ताहिर अहमद बागत ताहिर अहमद भगत राइटिंग अंडर दी सुडोनिम राजी ताहिर भगत इज एन काश्मीरी प्ले राइट एंड शॉर्ट स्टोरी राइटर ही वाज बोर्न ऑन फर्स्ट अप्रैल 1988 इन अनंतनाग डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर ही होल्ड्स मास्टर डिग्रीज इन इंग्लिश उर्दू एंड कश्मीरी एंड आल्सो बीएड एंड नोस इंग्लिश उर्दू एंड हिंदी बीसेट्स कश्मीरी करंटली इज वर्किंग एज एन अकाउंटेंट एट नेशनल आर्ट एंड कल्चरल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन He has two published books to his credit. He is the recipient of Best Book Award by National Art and Cultural Organization and Legendary Award 2021 by HF Foundation. Yearly on Foot is a collection of highly promising short stories revolving around the themes of brotherhood of the mankind, national integration, women empowerment, social injustice, domestic violence, etc. The author's courage and potential to take up the stark reality so sensibly makes his work commendable and interesting as such sahitya academy is happy to confer its new puraskar in kashmiri on raji tahir bhagat for his shastri collection yeli on foot award in konkani goes to shraddha garat but she couldn't make it और मैथिली में पुरस्कृत अमित मिश्रा अमित मिश्र मैथिली कवि एवं कथाकार है आपका जन्म 11 जनवरी उन्नीस सौ को जिला करियन बिहार में हुआ आपने गणित में बीएससी तथा हिंदी और मैथिली साहित्य में स्नातकोत्तर की उपाधियां प्राप्त की आपको मैथिली में मैथिली के अलावा हिंदी भोजपुरी अंग्रेजी तथा संस्कृत भाषाओं का भी ज्ञान है संप्रति आप बिहार सरकार के शिक्षक के रूप में कार्य कर रहे हैं आपने अपने विद्यालय के दिनों से लेखन आरंभ किया आपकी चार पुस्तकें प्रकाशित है आपको डॉक्टर महेश्वरी सिंह महेश ग्रंथ पुरस्कार तथा मन बोध राष्ट्रीय शिखर साहित्य सम्मान से उभूषित किया गया है अंशु बनी पसरी जय अमित मिश्र द्वारा सुंदरता से रचित मैथिली कविता संग्रह है जो बच्चों की आंखों से देखी गई दुनिया को प्रस्तुत करता है तथा उन्हें नैतिक शिक्षा देने की चेष्टा करता है आपका उद्देश्य बच्चों में वैज्ञानिक दृष्टिकोण पैदा करना तथा उन्हें उनकी सामाजिक जिम्मेदारियों के बारे में जागरूक करना भी है मैथिली के क्षेत्रीय शब्दों के उपयुक्त प्रयोग ने आपको व्यापक जनमानस का कवि बना दिया है साहित्य अकादमी अमित मिश्र को मैथिली कविता संग्रह अंशु बनी पसारी जय के लिए यो पुरस्कार प्रदान करते हुए प्रसन्नता का अनुभव कर रही है अवार्ड इन मलयालम गोस टू मोबिन मोहन मोबिन मोहन या मलयालम फिक्शन राइटर वाज बोर्न ऑन सिक्सटीन अप्रैल 1989 इन नेदुम कंदन डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ केरला ही होल्ड्स ए मास्टर डिग्री इन कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड नोस इंग्लिश बिसेड्स मलयालम He is currently a government official. He began writing since his school days and has two collections of short stories and a novel to his credit. And he is the recipient of Nalanda Puraskar, Popok Cafe Akbar uh, Kakatil Novel Puraskar, Kohumban Award, etc. Jakaranda is a novel that stands apart with its original perception, highly creative style of narration and a unique approach. The plot of the story is set in Europe and engulfs European history, myths and customs. It succeeds in both imbibing the imaginative beauty and making it an unforgettable experience. The use of vibrant and plucky language also makes it a good read. As a Sahitya Academy is happy to confer its Upraskar 
in Malayalam on Mobin Mohan for his novel Jakaranda. Award in Manipuri goes to Laisham Lenin Singh. Laisham Lenin Singh writes under the pseudonym Lenin Kumancha. He is a Manipuri poet born on 2nd January 1988 in Kangabok district of Manipur. He has a master's degree in Manipuri literature and knows Hindi and English besides Manipuri. He is currently working as a research scholar. He began writing in 1999 and has three poetry collections to his credit. He has also edited several books and journals in Manipuri. He is the recipient of R. Kathing Tankul Literary Award and Arambam Ibn Gohal and Binodi, Binod Kumari Literary Award. Matamagi Manlan is a collection of 33 poems reflecting human values in contemporary Manipuri society. Positive approach is the common thread running through all the poems. The author's work centers around safeguarding our borders, inculcating our cultural values, heart-wrenching sentiments of poor people, deteriorating condition of the mother nature, longing for world based on the truth, etc. He has firm belief in and willingness for the welfare of the people. It is written in free verse, allowing the artistic expressions to flow. As such, Sahit Academy is happy to confer its Upraskar in Manipuri on Lenin Kumancha for his poetry collection, Matmagi, Matmagi Manglan. Award in Marathi goes to Pranav Sakdev. Pranav Sakdev, Marathi fiction writer, editor, and translator, was born on 26 June 1987 in Kalyan district of Maharashtra. He has a bachelor's degree and knows Hindi and English besides Marathi. He is currently working as translator and editor. He began writing during 2008 and has six published works to his credit. He is the recipient of Kathakar Shantaram Puraskar, Kusumagraj Fellowship and A.V. Varthi Kathlekhat Puraskar. Kale Karde Strokes is a novel revolving around the emotion of love. The novel explores, the, explores and sheds light on the lives of contemporary youth, mental makeup, internal chaos and their relationships. The lyrical prose, riveting narrative and use of authentic lingo of youth conversations make this a highly readable novel. As such, Sahit Academy is happy to confer its Upraskar in Marathi on Pranav Sakdev for his novel Kale Karde Strokes. The award in Nepali goes to Mahesh Dahal. Mahesh Dahal, a Nepali short story writer, was born on 3rd March 1989 in Darjeeling district of West Bengal. He has a PhD in Nepali. He knows Hindi and English besides Nepali. He is currently working as a teacher. And he began writing during his school days and has seven published works to his credit. He represented Nepali in Sarvabhasha Kavisam Melan, organized by All India Radio. Achal Kuhiro is a collection of 20 short stories depicting the vivid psychological, social and economic problems of the modern Nepali society. The stories 
solemnly create a melancholy mood and make the reader feel and angst that the contemporary social milieu emits the author is not only a mere narrator of the problems prevalent in the postmodern society but has also become perennial source of inspiration to fight against the social evils as such sahitya academy is happy to confer its u puraskar in nepali on mahesh dahal for his prose collection achal ko hero The award in Odia goes to Deva Prata Das. Deva Prata Das, an Odia short story writer, was born on 8 June 1987 in Balasore district of Odisha. He has master degree in business administration. He knows Hindi and English besides Odia. He is currently working as a field officer in Godrej Consumer Products Limited. He began writing since his school days and has four published works to his credit. He is the recipient of Akshila Yoga Puraskar and Anya Eka Baitarani Puraskar. Sparsha Vo Ananya Galpa is a collection of autobiographical short stories depicting the different aspects of the life of the common villagers by using appropriate expression creatively. He has been able to do justice to the situation and the characters which makes his stories illuminating as such sahitya academy is happy to confer its u puraskar in odia on devabrat das for his prose collection sparsha vo ananya galpa award in punjabi goes to veer davinder singh veer davinder singh a punjabi writer and an actor was born on 16 january 1987 in mansa district of punjab he is pursuing his phd on generic study of punjabi feature films he knows hindi and english besides punjabi he is currently working in the public relation department of punjabi university patiala pa de paila is his maiden work he is the recipient of best actor award from punjabi university pa de paila is a collection of 31 creative articles having motivational and humanistic approach it is a brilliant attempt to create a prose and original idiom the language is lucid and subtle and the writer's philosophical and logical approach is captivating as such sahit academy is happy to confer its u puraskar in punjabi on veer davinder singh for his collection of prose prose writings paade pailan संस्कृत में पुरस्कृत श्वेत पद्मा शतपति श्वेत पद्मा शतपति संस्कृत कहानीकार तथा समालोचक है आपका जन्म चौदह अप्रैल उन्नीस सौ सत्यासी को कटक ओडिशा में हुआ अपने साहित्य में पीएचडी तथा योग में पीजी डिप्लोमो किया है आपको संस्कृत के अलावा हिंदी अंग्रेजी तथा उड़िया भाषाओं का भी ज्ञान है संप्रति आप राष्ट्रीय संस्कृत विश्वविद्यालय तिरुपति आंध्र प्रदेश में अध्यापन कार्य करती है आपने अपने विद्यार्थी जीवन से लेखन आरंभ किया आपकी पांच कृतियाँ प्रकाशित है आपको राष्ट्रीय संस्कृत विश्वविद्यालय तिरुपति द्वारा वनिता वही जयंती पुरस्कार से सम्मानित किया गया है कथा कल्पलता श्वेत पद्मा शतपथी कृत बयालीस संस्कृत कहानियों का संग्रह है जिसमें चिकित्सा कानूनी तथा अन्य सामाजिक मुद्दों को समाहित किया गया है तथा यह इतनी सरल और 
सुरुचि सुरुचिपूर्ण भाषा में लिखा गया है कि यह सौहार्दपूर्ण ढंग से जटिलताओं को संवाद करता है तथा नैतिकता का संदेश देने का देने के अलावा प्रत्येक सामाजिक स्तर के लिए पठनीय बन पड़ा है साहित्य अकाडमी श्वेत पदमा शतपति को संस्कृत कहानी संग्रह कथा कल्पलता के लिए योग पुरस्कार प्रदान करते हुए प्रसन्नता का अनुभव कर रही है अवार्ड इन संताली गोस टू कुना हंसदा कुना हंसदा संताली फिक्शन राइटर वाज बोर्न ऑन थर्ड मे 1988 एट एट विलेज सोसो इन मयूरभ डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ उड़ीसा He has done his ITA training from Raurkela, Odisha. He knows Odia, Bengali, Telugu, Kudmi, Bhumij, Munda, and English language. Besides Santali, he is currently working with Steel Plant at Visakhapatnam. He began writing since 2015 and has two novels to his credit. He is the recipient of Young Writer Award from All India Santali Writers Association. Sagai Ganade is a novel. Is the novel set in romantic milieu and describes the traditional customary and social structure and fabric of santal community it is the story of a young couple which lives their life by following the strict value systems prevalent in their society the book provides a guideline to the santali youth who have left the village and have hardly any contact with their culture and social tradition the language is simple and lucid and full of life as such sahitya academy is happy to confer its upraskar in santali on kuna hansda for his novel sagai ganade thank you the award in sindhi goes to rakesh shewani Rakesh Shivani is in the playwright and poet was born on 22nd December 1989 in Bhopal Madhya Pradesh he holds master degree in Hindi and economics and is pursuing phd in Hindi he knows Hindi besides Sindhi he owns a travel agency Jindagi Ja Rang is his maiden publication Jindagi Ja Rang a full length play in Sindhi and is considered to be an encouraging and creative activity in the domain of Sindhi theater The play is essentially rooted in contemporary reality and revolves around significant issues related to the youth. It brilliantly upholds moral and familial values and sincerely conveys a message of humanity and nurtures immaculate conscience besides encouraging spoken Sindhi amongst the youth. As such, Sahitya Academy is happy to confer its Upraskar in Sindhi and Rakesh Shivani for his play Jindagi Ja Rang. अवार्ड इन तमिल गोस टू कार्तिक बालसुब्रमण्यम कार्तिक बालसुब्रमण्यम इन तमिल फिक्शन राइटर वाज बोर्न ऑन फिफ्थ मे 1987 इन राजपालयम तमिलनाडु ही होल्ड्स ए बैचलर्स डिग्री इन इंजीनियरिंग एंड नोस इंग्लिश बिसेस तमिल इज करेंटली वर्किंग एज सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोफेशनल He began writing during 2015 and since then he has published two collections of short stories and a novel. He is the recipient of Kasi Sivakumar Debut Author Award and Vasaga Salai Best Novel Award. Natchatiravasigal is a story about the software professional working in a multinational company. From outside the 
bubble the life seems exotic with lucrative salary and perks but hardly does anyone know about the insecurity in jobs complex family life working conditions etc of the software professionals the novel also speaks of how the man still appears to be an ancient creature living in the modern world the book is remarkable for its originality and pleasant readability as such sahitya academy is happy to confer its upraskar in tamil and kartik bal subramanian for his novel natchitra vasikal అవార్డు ఇన్ తెలుగు గోస్టు తగుళ్ళ గోపాల్ తగుళ్ళ గోపాల్ ఈ తెలుగు పోయిట్ అండ్ ఎస్ శేష్ బోజ్ బోర్న్ ఎయిత్ జనవరి నైన్టీన్ నైన్టీ టూ ఇన్ రంగారెడ్డి డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ ఆఫ్ తెలంగాణ ఈ హోల్స్ ఎ మాస్టర్ డిగ్రీ ఇన్ తెలుగు అండ్ నోస్ ఇంగ్లీష్ బిసెట్ తెలుగు ఈజ్ కరెంట్లీ వర్కింగ్ యాజ్ టీచర్ ఈ యాజ్ ఎ కలెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ పోయిట్రీ దండ దండకడియం టు ఇస్ క్రెడిట్ ఈజ్ ద రిసిపియంట్ ఆఫ్ పలమూరు సాహితీ అవార్డ్ కొత్తపల్లి నరేంద్ర బాబు తెలంగాణ సరస్వత పరిషత్ అవార్డ్ అండ్ రొట్టమాకు రేవు అవార్డ్ Dandakadiyam is a collection of poems reflecting the agony of the masses belonging to rural Indian villages. The poet's expression is fresh and honest. He has, a, he has the poetic ability and style to raise his focus on the universal expansion. He speaks about stark reality of the people who are rooted to the soil. It is a metaphor for any hardworking individual from the toiling masses whose survival instinct, patience and sagaciousness make them extraordinary as such sahitya academy is happy to confer its yo puraskar in telugu on tagulla gopal for his novel dandakadiyam అవార్డు ఇన్ ఉర్దూ గోస్టు ఉమర్ ఫర్హాద్ ఉమర్ ఫర్హాద్ ఏ పోయిట్ ఇన్ ఉర్దూ వాజ్ బోర్న్ అన్ థర్డ్ జూన్ నైన్టీన్ ఎయిటీ సిక్స్ ఇన్ రా ఇన్ రాజౌరి డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ ఆఫ్ జమ్మూ అండ్ కాశ్మీర్ ఈ హోల్స్ ఎ మాస్టర్ డిగ్రీ ఇన్ ఉర్దూ అండ్ నోస్ హిందీ అండ్ ఇంగ్లీష్ బిసైడ్స్ ఉర్దూ He is a freelance editor in an Urdu magazine. He began writing since 2009 and has two publications to his credit, including Jameen Jad or Sarye S. Jameen Jad is a collection of poems using the traditional form Ghazal, but with a different and fresh language. The mesmeric Ghazals in the collection intensify rhythmically the poet's yearning for creating his own world, the striking imagery and metaphors add to the memor- memorable lyrical intensity of the ghazals reading these ghazals and reading them out to others goes on to become a habit for the readers as such sahitya academy happy to confer its upraskar in urdu on umar farhat for his poetry jameen jaz this uh, on behalf of everyone present here i once again congratulate all the award winners and also thank the jury members who have chosen this wonderful engagements now i request the chief guest of this evening uh, cs ramakrishnan to address this august gathering friends Shri Nath Ram and Father Kojit Jir, Sri Ram Krishna and ladies and gentlemen and the award winners. 
I'm filled with great sense of hope and joy when I look around and see all these splendid, promising and young writers who are here today. And I congratulate all those who have received our Sahit Academy Awards. This academy seeks to foster the creative urge in young writers of our country and to provide a platform for showcasing their literary talent. The main goal of conferring these awards on young writers is to encourage literary work in the many languages that are a part of this country. I am convinced that by giving these awards, we are motivating our young writers to seek higher and higher levels of excellence in their writing. We hope to see many of you blossoming into the fine literary figures in the national and international context. Once upon a time, I too began as a young writer searching for my creative centers. I strove to develop a writing style and also a distinct literary identity. I think I found those not in some far away culture, but here in the ground under my feet. It was in my own culture and place that I found the inspiration of all my writing. Today I am seen as a writer who went against the major current of modernism in 20th century Canada literature. While many of my peers found their literary models in the West, be it Sartre or Lawrence or Lewis, I chose to go back to my native roots. I drew my inspiration from my folk world. I feel a sense of fulfillment when I look at how I shaped my literary career and creative life over all these years. This was possible only because I was able to stand up against the cultural pressure of my times and could resist being carried away by the dominant modernism ideologies which were often der derived from the West. I am sharing this with you because I know that you too are trying to find your roots, that you are trying to shape your writing career. Many of you, I am sure, are also fighting against the dominant trends of contemporary writing, which may still be Eurocentric, and trying to develop your different literary models. I understand very well such difficulties and challenges that any new writer in an Indian language face today. But apart from the trying to find their source of inspiration, any young writer also has to face a feeling of self-doubt in his life. Who am I as a writer? Where should I anchor my literary identity? How do I develop an individual writer self, writerly self, even as I remain rooted in my context? How do I respond to the contemporary social and cultural context through my writing? These are some of the questions that you must all be asking yourselves now. Often you are also going through a crisis in terms of relating to the world around, around you. You might be traumatized by doubts that the literary public in your society is simply unresponsible, unresponsive to your talent, your convictions and your mode of address to them. You might feel that this public is incapable of understanding or appreciating the changes you wish to usher in, in, into these social and literary contexts in which you are working. But when you look at the literary history of an era, my country, society, our culture, you will see that it has finally opened up to the new ways of writing and thinking. It has given birth to the innovative writers and artists. But then I would also urge you to see tradition as also something that has to be cherished, something that can empower you as a writer and enrich your imagination. 
as I said earlier, my own writing has been nourished by this native tradition. This mythopoeic imagination of my folk community has shaped my thinking and shown me a different way of looking at my contemporary reality. As young writers, you must be searching for such a creative center too. My gentle advice to you is, please also root yourself in this sense of place, forge that bond with the people around you. This will give you a sense of relatedness, a relevance to your time and cultural context. Finally, I must again express my happiness for being here and sharing the ex excitement of this day. I wish you I wish you luck in your endeavors and fervently hope that your literary aspirations and dreams will be realized in this unique space of what we call the Indian literary scene. On behalf of our academy, I promise that we will extend our fullest support to your work and look forward to your future achievements. Once again, I congratulate you all. Thank you very much. Hello. A talk. Now I request um, the Vice President of Sahit Academy, Mr. Madhav Koshik Ji, to address this August gathering. Friends, tomorrow morning, all these award winners will speak about their own experiences, about their writing and about their uh, uh, writing journey in the same auditorium at morning 10 o'clock. Uh, I request all of you to be here at 10 and encourage this all the young writers. Namaskar. Our President, respectable Chandrasekhar Kambarji, Ram Krishnan Ji, Chief Guest of the Ceremony, all the dignitaries sitting before me, Sirpi Sir, Malan Sanar, and all the members of the Tamil Advisory Board, all the awardees, their family members. First of all, I congratulate all of these for this Yuva Puruskar. I also congratulate their families, their wives, and even their girlfriends <laughs> who have contributed a lot. Nowadays, people generally forget their girlfriends. And you are, you are should be thankful to them because they are the perennial source of inspiration for them. Ladies and gentlemen, please have a look from this side to that side. You will see the whole of India is sitting on the dais. The young India. The young India. And when Rausa was uh, reading their citations, you have noticed that all of them are multilingual. They know more than two or three languages. This is the real India. This is the this is the picture of our coming future generation. Because in this diversity, our unity resides. They are all coming from different walks of life. Teachers are there from medicine from corporates, from computer science. And they have proved that writers are born, not made. They are born authors. When we were young, we have to struggle a lot. Those who have born in villages, in small towns, we have no libraries. We have no literary books. It was very difficult times for us. But this generation has lot of means, lot of facilities. Even their mobile, it contains the whole of the universe. 
दे कैन सी द मीनिंग ऑफ एवरी वन दे कैन इवन रीड द वर्ल्ड लिटरेचर बिकॉज इट इज ऑल रिकॉर्डेड ऑन इट इट इज ऑल इन द चिप्स दे उनके पास साधन तो हैं आई रिक्वेस्ट देम टू मिंगल दिस साधन विद साधना इस साधन के साथ अगर साधना जोड़ लोगे फिर आपका जीवन बहुत बड़ा है बहुत आगे जाएगा इसमें कोई दो राय नहीं फ्रेंड्स राव साहब वॉज टेलिंग दैट यंग राइटर्स यूथ इन एवरी फील्ड ऑफ लाइफ इन एवरी वॉक ऑफ लाइफ दे हैव डन मिरेकल्स एंड द न्यू आइडियाज ऑलवेज कम इन दिस एज वेन एवर आई रीड एंड वी हैव सो मैनी इंट्रेक्शन प्रोग्राम्स विद यंग राइटर्स आई ऑलवेज फाइंड टू थिंग्स इन यंग राइटर्स ऑफ एवरी लैंग्वेज इंडियन एंड फॉरन ऑल लैंग्वेजेस रोमांस एंड रिबेलियन and i am using these words in a very broader meaning nowadays romance is something else in india and rebellion is also something else romance and rebellion means the man who has the guts to challenge the traditional values who have guts to change the change the norms of the morality the man who can create new things while enjoying the life this adventurous nature is romance and rebellion and they all have i congratulate them and one more thing sometimes recognition in at a very young age sometimes spoils the mind ये मेरी तरफ से आपको सलाह नहीं चेतावनी है बहुत सारे इनाम लेने के बाद लिखना बंद कर देते हैं एंड आई हैव सीन सो मेनी यंग राइटर्स दे स्टार्ट थिंकिंग दैट आई एम इक्वलन टू शेक्सपियर वाई शुड राइट नाउ आई हैव गेन द युवा पुरस्कार अकेडमी हैज रिकोगनाइज मी दिस इज अवार्ड ऑफ पॉसिबिलिटी नोट अवार्ड ऑफ परफेक्शन नोट डाउन इट you have to go a long way to reach the perfection you have one thing i want to say that young writers they have so many novel ideas originality novelty and imagination they have all these three things but they have less love for their tradition without tradition no individual talent can come up when you mingle tradition with your individual talent then you will be a great writer i again congratulate you all your family members your wives and your girlfriends also thank you <laughs>